a particular back and forth that Justice Jackson had with Rahimi's attorney when talking about relevant laws, historical laws, should be considered and those that shouldn't. Um, I think part of his argument was there was no evidence historically of complete bans on gun possession, but then it was noted that there were, particularly for Black people, um, enslaved people, Native Americans. To, to paraphrase him, maybe not do him justice, essentially his response was, oh, well, those are repugnant laws. Like, we would never support something like that. Those are obviously, like, based on you know, racism and things that we've sort of, like, evolved beyond, um, and therefore we shouldn't consider those. And I think Justice Jackson and maybe some of the other justices were sort of frustrated by that, because then it becomes a question of, like, which history does apply and which doesn't. Thank you.